Hey, how you doing? Justin here today. I'm going to show you a seriously excellent finger stretching exercise. This one's good for beginners right through to advanced players. Anyone really that needs to work on getting a better stretch with their hand. Now, uh, really important couple of things here. First of all, this exercise is kind of designed for like a five minute a day kind of a, a, amount of time. Any more than that, and you might be doing yourself a little bit of damage. So don't go overdoing it. Just like, I don't know if you had started taking a yoga class, no matter how much you tried, if you tried to go into those really insane postures in the first day or the first week, you're going to hurt yourself, right? The same with this kind of thing. You don't want to be trying to push it. So just five minutes a day and expect that flexibility in your fingers to happen over a few months, right? So so don't, don't be pushing it. Uh, while we're talking about pushing it, it's really, really important that you don't get any pain in your hand, okay? That kind of soreness is fine, like you've just been stretching the muscles or been to the gym, you had a bit of a workout or done something strenuous. So the, the muscles can feel a little bit kind of tender, a little bit sore, but not painful. Okay, if you've got any pain, you need to stop straight away and probably go and visit your local doctor, you know, to make sure that there's nothing kind of going wrong with you, with your hand, you know. Um, so that's, a, you know, uh, my little caveats out of the way there for health and safety. Um, so uh, let's get to a close up and I'll show you how to do this exercise. So we start the exercise by putting our first finger in the eighth fret of the thickest string. Now what we're going to do now is put our second finger down in the ninth fret, right up next to the fret. And it's really important that we don't move our first finger. The first finger stays exactly where it was. Then third finger is going to go up into the tenth fret. Again, right up next to the fret and the other fingers are not moving. And then little finger, you got it, it's going to go in the eleventh fret of the thickest string. Now it's really important that the fingers stay where they go down and that you put them down nicely. A lot of beginner people, if they're having trouble with the stretch, they try this, they do the first finger, then they lift off the first finger, and then they're just putting down one finger at a time. You can see the fingers are still really cramped together and that's not the point, right? We're trying to get them spread out, okay? Also really important is what's happening with the palm there. It wants to be not quite touching the neck, but as close to it as you can. And what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be gradually moving the fingers toward the thinner string. And when we finish, we want the fingers nicely curled up, not with your hand all kind of outstretched like that. So try and get used to the fingers curling up as we go along. So let's start that again. First finger, eighth fret, thicker string. And then the second finger goes down. And the third finger. And then the fourth finger. And now we move it on to the next string. So just try not to move your fingers around too much. Now what's really important here is that you're doing it nice and slow. If you're trying to develop flexibility, it's really important that you don't try and do it too fast, because then all you end up doing is hurting yourself. Now can you see, as we're moving up here, now the fingers are getting more and more curled. They're curling up, the hand's not moving much, the kind of our knuckles are not getting further away from the guitar. Now the on the second string, they're really curled up, and you can see that the first finger is not moving from its original position. Okay, and now we're going to work our way back up each string. So you can see, first finger is always the first one to go on. We're just moving back across the strings now. Second. You definitely wouldn't want to be doing it any faster than this. You might want to do it more slowly. If, especially if you're feeling any kind of strain in your fingers, that would be the right time to slow it right down and try and stretch those fingers up. Remember, it should be, feel a little bit difficult, but not painful. Painful is bad. Okay, so that's stage one out of the way. Now what we're going to do is leave all of our fingers where they are now, but stretch our first finger back one fret. So our first finger's now in the seventh fret, second finger's in the ninth fret, third finger's in the tenth fret, and little finger's in the eleventh fret. And you got it, we're gonna do the same thing again. So start with the first finger. Now that one, you're gonna have a little bit of a stretch there, but don't let your first finger move, okay? A lot of people struggle with the little finger here like this. Just try and keep the first finger, oh, stretch it up there to get onto that note. Okay, again. It's really important that you're doing it really nice and slow. The whole exercise, you should probably be able to do it 
a bit more than once in a five minute time slot but you don't want to be doing it more than too much more than that because it's supposed to be five minutes now here you can see really see the fingers are curled up there it's definitely not elongated like that trying to keep your thumb at least halfway up the neck on the back there normally your thumb would be positioned approximately the other side of the neck to your second finger but because everyone's got slightly different shaped hands I'm kind of reluctant to say that it has to be there but that would be a kind of an average place for your thumb to be at the back okay so that's our first finger nicely stretched out now for the little finger so first finger comes back to where it was and now little finger is going to stretch upper fret now I find this one kind of difficult because my little finger is really stumpy so uh, off we go again making sure that all of the fingers stay down that little finger has got a nice stretch there now stretch it up trying to get every finger right next to the fret not on top of it but just right behind it again you could definitely be doing this a bit slower if you want but because I've got to do this video here I don't want to go painfully slowly and again fingers curling up nicely stretch that little finger out that's it and then we're going back up each string really good little exercises quite a good warm-up as well if you don't want to push it too hard I wouldn't perhaps start with it you probably want to be playing guitar a little bit before you uh, started this exercise okay that's stage three done now stage four this is where it gets real killer okay we originally started here then we did the first finger out then we did the little finger out now we're going to do both of them so first finger in the seventh fret second finger in the ninth fret third finger in the tenth fret little finger in the twelfth fret okay and we're just going to be working again nice and slowly up each string don't worry about the notes it doesn't even matter if you kind of mispicked notes occasionally you probably you don't want to try to do that but it's not about that it's a physical get that little finger stretched out there now fingers nice and curled up really stretch that little finger even for me now to get that little finger on the thinner string and this string to get it in a nice spot takes a little bit of concentration and I can definitely feel my hand is nicely warmed up now and we're done some of you are bound to be wondering why it is that we're not working on the stretch between the second and the third finger it's a very good question one that I asked myself as well when I started doing this exercise um, the way our hand is shaped is kind of round for most of us few people are different but most of us have a kind of a round shaped top of the hand and when the fingers come in they tend to kind of point toward the middle now trying to get the second and third finger to stretch apart like that when they're curled up particularly is really 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 difficult it, it's kind of possible to work it a little bit but it's also a little bit unnecessary there are very very rarely occasions where you need to do that stretch and actually between the second and third if you want to get a stretch on something you're probably not going to have your fingers straight on you're going to angle the hand because as soon as we angle the hand you know we can then get a quite a big stretch between second and third fingers but then it's just about reaching like that as opposed to trying to get a stretch in the way that this exercise is working so that's why it's not included with this one now uh, once you feel confident with that starting with your first finger in the eighth fret and go because I'd recommend that you go through all four stages of it each time uh, once you're comfortable with it at the eighth fret then you want to move it down to the seventh fret and then the sixth fret and then the fifth fret because as you get further toward the nut the frets get wider apart so at the eighth fret you know that was fairly cool for me I can get to about the third fret kind of that's that's about my maximum stretch because I've got a really short little finger I physically if I try and do it at the first fret so like first fret third fret fourth fret and then sixth fret my little finger just physically won't go any further like that it doesn't seem to want to move that way and I've been working on trying to get it 
flexible for a long time, but it, it, it won't go. So, um, you know, you will, you're likely to find a kind of limit, but, you know, that's, that took quite a few years before I was kind of comfortable playing that stretch down there. Any of you with the really super long fingers thing going on, I'm very jealous, and uh, I'm sure you'll find this exercise really simple. In fact, it's probably not a whole lot of point in doing it if you've got really big hand and you can do the stretches anyway, and it's uh, not causing you any problems. Um, all of that, there's a tab and a worksheet and stuff for this on the website, so you might want to go and check out that. And uh, one thing that I just want to remind you again, really, really make sure that you don't get any pain in your hand, okay? A little bit of soreness is fine. You should feel like you've just been stretching those muscles and that, you know, that you've done a workout, you know, because this is a kind of a physical guitar workout, but it shouldn't be painful. Okay, the same you go for a run, you should feel tired and you should feel exhausted and your legs will be sore, but they shouldn't hurt. If they hurt, something's gone wrong. That's the whole idea with pain is telling, you, telling us that there's something wrong and that we want to check it out. So please just you know, keep an eye on your hand, well not an eye physically. Keep, keep listening to your body and if it hurts, stop and go and see a doctor. <laughs> um, I hope this exercise really helps you get your fingers good and flexible and I'll see you for plenty more lessons and songs very soon. You take care of yourselves, bye bye.